everyone, it's Rachel with TravelWithRed.net. I am going to review a couple boxes, um, well in this video one particular box. I'm going to um, review a glossy box. I had gotten a promo code to get one free box with a three month subscription. And so they mailed out um, my free box which was the January, it's April now, um, but it was the January 2008 box which I'm going to review today. Um, I'm still pending my April box. They said it's shipped. I'm still waiting for the tracking number, so when I get that, I'll go over it. So, I've already opened it, kind of peeked at the goodies, but this is what the box looks like. The nice little pink box, which is cute. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about Glossy Box. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think if you're super makeup heavy, it's a little disappointing. Um, you're supposed to get... Uh, I think it's like four to five, no, maybe five to six deluxe samples versus full-size products. Um, and I believe it's $21. I got a slightly cheaper rate with this deal. So um, the theme of this box is the Fresh Face. Um, and so I kind of go over the products here, which I'll just go over here. Um, so first thing when I open up the box, there is this little envelope that it says velvet and velvet eyewear and it says that it's a $25 gift card. From what everything I've read, everyone says that it is actually just a coupon code. It's not a specific um, gift card. So I don't know. I haven't looked to see what products these are. I don't know anything about velvet eyewear. I was going to go look later. I got two boxes on my porch today and I figured I'd knock out these videos since I have a couple more things coming in the next week or so. Um, so when you open it up, uh, this box is definitely not heavy on the makeup, which is not a bad thing because I got like 20 boxes of um, different things, so I would have way too much new makeup to try out. Um, I haven't tried any on today, unfortunately, um, because of the fact that I got off work today, I took care of my baby and my four-year-old, I just got them both down to sleep and I've got to somewhere in their shower and go to bed and wake up early in the morning. So no makeup for me. Um, so the first thing I see in here is the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil by Dr. Botanicals. Um, I'm gonna go show you inside. This is what it looks like. It has a little dropper, kind of like a lot of the other facial oils that I've seen in the past. Uh, has a nice smell. Seems pretty liquidy. Let me try a little bit on the skin here. This is actually kind of a, a watery feel. It's not too greasy. Um, a lot of facial oils will get that really heavy, uh, greasy feel to it has a nice pleasant scent so this will be a nice um, thing to try out it says it's a lightweight facial oil infused with vitamins and oil for brighter even skin tone so this might be like a really nice thing to put on in the morning I tend to use my facial serums and oils at night because they're really heavy and greasy um, but this one isn't isn't bad so I'm kind of excited to try that out the um, second thing I see here is the it's a little little thing here the Merula Oil Transforming Hair Serum. It says it's sulfate free uh, and it's safe for color, keratin treated hair. I don't have either. This is my natural hair color. Um, and it's supposed to restore moisture and shine to lackluster hair. Um, so that's kind of intriguing, the hair oil. I'm always looking for fabulous hair stuff because I tend to um, get really dry, frizzy hair. Um, so this is what the little bottle looks like. Now I will have to say, I, I wiped this off when I opened it up. It had leaked a little bit of oil, which was a little disconcerting. Um, but it has a very nice scent to it. So again, this is something I'm probably going to try on my hair tonight with my bath or shower. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I see here is the Buxom Plumping Full Voluminous, voluminous Lashes. Um, and so this is what the little package shows. 
Now this is a sample size, so this must be one of their luxury sample sizes. Um, but that's okay, because honestly, I don't, I usually end up not going through my mascara before it goes bad. So I'd rather honestly have little, little samples. So this is called the Big Tease Plumping Mascara by Buxom. And just to show you the brush, um, which is kind of a nice brush. So I'll have to try this out and see how it is. I'm excited to try this out because I wasn't so happy with my last mascara I got, which was a Benefit mascara. Everybody raves about it. I didn't really love it. Um, so that's that. Um, next thing I see, which I'm kind of excited about this, I've never heard of this brand, but it looks, I'm looking for any facial products or skin products. Um, this is the Lumen Purity Dew Drop Hydrating Eye Gel. It looks like it's from somewhere over in Europe because it looks all in writing that I cannot read, but you can see the, the thing there. Um, apparently it is, oh, Arctic and Nordic plants. So there you go. That's, that's going on there, Nordic. <laughs> um, it was to absorb and channel the unique light producing high concentrations of potent nutrients and antioxidants. So this is supposed to create powerful, radiant, boosting skincare. So um, open this up here. And it has just like a nice, clean, fresh scent. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here to kind of feel the texture of it. That's a nice, like soothing, cooling kind of gel, not too tacky. Has a nice scent, so I'm excited to try this out as well. Like I said, I am always looking for good gels, creams, facial beauty stuff to help this since I had my last child a couple of months ago. My skin has been having a beating um, between work and not sleeping. So the final product in the box is this Steve Laurent lip gloss, and this is a full-size product. Um, and it is, you can see here, um, it's a really pretty shade of pink. It doesn't really show up that well here, but it is called Dusty Rose. And you can see the color. It's just a really pretty color. Um, I actually will use this color. Um, and I love, I carry around this Vaseline. Not bad. This Vaseline um, aloe vera balm that is in like a little tub that I use all the time. So I actually don't mind um, lip glosses and things in tubs. I don't know why it doesn't bother me. Um, but that's this. So um, not bad. I mean, it was a free box and the products seem very good. Um, some of them are small, but. I'm, I'm fairly happy with the selection. I do like that it is a mix of hair and skin and beauty um, products. I, you know, there are other bags that are a little more makeup heavy um, and some that are more skin heavy. So it's kind of nice to have just kind of a, a product line that's a little mix of all of it because that's kind of what I'm looking for. So just to kind of go over some prices to see if it was a good bang for most people's buck. Now, like I said, for me, it was a free box. So um, it was a definite good bang for my buck. If they could have sent me one full-size product and nothing else, and I probably would have been happy because it was literally free. So um, this is a full size at 0.5 fluid ounces. And um, so this is considered a full size product. It's $14.99. This is the eye gel. Um, the Buxom, now they're saying full size is 22, this is not a full size. Um, so I don't know what, I'd have to look this up to see what full size is, but this is not full size, but still not bad. Um, the Dr. Botanicals, uh, one fluid ounce is considered full size. This is supposed to be 58, 50. That is a lot for a little bottle. The hair uh, formula, so this is 0.34 fluid ounces. Um, so a full size is 3.4 fluid ounces. So this is like a tenth of it. So this is worth about $2.06. A full price of this would be worth about $26. Mm, 
wish it was a little bit bigger sample, but you know, that's not bad. And then finally our um, full size lip, which is uh, 0.12 ounces. This is $22. So you know, pretty good uh, bang for your buck. They're saying that uh, at least three of these products are full size. They say four, I think it's debatable. It's really three, um, but overall, not bad. Um, I am curious to see what my April box will look like. I'm a little worried because apparently it shipped out the same day as this one, but this one showed up. I had the tracking order. I hope it doesn't get lost. I've heard mixed reviews about Glossy Box and their shipping and customer service. Um, I shot them a email just saying, hey, I didn't get my tracking number. Could you please send it to me? We'll see. I'll update you guys when I find out more. So if you guys are interested in watching more of my videos, uh, please subscribe. Um, or leave your comments. Uh, if you want to see more about my blog, it is travelwithred.net. And I also have a Facebook page, Travel With Red, where I just post up different things, product reviews, box reviews, musings about being a 35-year-old with two kids and trying to work a full-time job. Um, and travel, which I used to do a lot more pre-kids. So, um, you know, I'm not a huge person that is just styled all the time. I'm your typical mom who's trying to balance work and home and so if you can relate, please subscribe, leave me comments, let me know what you think. All right, thank you.